I don't know what happened. I was on fire. I couldn't lose. I was up almost $8,000. And then I started double and triple my bets, just like it says in the book. Next thing I knew. Let me see the book, Randy. Let me see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, are you, what are you doing? How am I going to win my money back? You stay there. If you go near those tables again without me, I will shoot you in the leg. Well, a very good friend of mine has a gambling problem. I need to do an intervention. Maybe Randy could find a support group. I'm talking about you, Monk. Me? I don't gamble. Yeah, that's a problem. You should gamble. See, you could be in there right now gambling, winning his money back. You can't be serious. Oh, Monk, the kid is 35 grand in the hole. That is his savings account, his car payment, and the down payment on his mother's condominium. I can't do it. Yes, you can. I just saw you. Mr. Muck, don't listen to him. Look, just, you, you do that Rain Man thing. Count a few cards. It'll take you an hour and a half. No, 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 look at me. He has no idea what he's talking about. Once you get a taste of it, you will be hooked for sure. You will never leave. You won't get hooked. He gets hooked on everything. He's the most compulsive person I've ever met. He's like a different species. Thank you. I'll be with you the whole time. We go in there, win the 35 grand back, and then we walk away. Nobody walks away. Mr. Monk, don't do it. Mr. Monk, it's Randy. I have to do it. It's Randy. And then on, I'll walk Randy. away. I promise. I have a different ship. This one's scratched. It's his first time. No kidding. Don't even think about it. Fourteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Five, you bust. You hit 20? I did. I'm gonna need more money. Stay. Hit me. Hit me. Stay. 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 Hit me. Hit me. Stay. Hit me. Stay. I mean, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Look, I really appreciate this. Never gamble it again for as long as I live. What a bet. A thousand bucks. Sorry. We can't cover that. There's a $500 limit. I think we can make an exception, Mr. Monk's case. I mean, we're not afraid of him, are we? Nah. You're the boss. But first, let's make it a little more interesting. Why don't you add two more decks to the shoe? Yes, sir. Mr. Monk, that's 10 decks. That's too many. Bring it. If you're trying to cheat me, Mr. Monk, we'll catch you. I got friends hiding in the ceiling. Friends in the ceiling. That's right. There's an axe to his panel above. I know how you did it. 
I know how he did it. He murdered his wife. Good for him. Congratulations. Let's play cards. Stay. Hit me. Here's what happened. You and your wife went out to that fundraiser. She left the penthouse with you, but she never made it downstairs. You killed her in the elevator on the way down. You had less than two minutes. That's all the time you needed. After all, you had help. Are you going to play or not? Sorry. Hit me. This man is delusional. He was discharged from the police force six years ago. He's not even a real cop. Yeah, that's true. But we are. Go on. That wasn't your wife in the lobby. That was Teresa Tolenko, your mistress in disguise. Come on, hit me! Stay. Teresa was a trained actress. Is that why you seduced her in the first place, I wonder? I'll split these. Stay. Hit me. Double down. Hit me. You hoisted her up through the access panel. Hit me again and make it a 10. Genius. What is that, 17? I'll stay. Hit me. Then Teresa took your wife's place in the elevator. You had 45 seconds. That was plenty of time. Hit me and hit me. Stay. Stay. The elevator door opened, and you two went into your act. 2,000, uptown and down. Let's keep it sassy. You sure you want to do that? You said you'd quit. Natalie, you know what I'm doing. When the door closed again, Teresa started to scream your name. Whoa, Blackjack. I believe that's the name of the game. Cheryl was already dead when she pressed the glass. That's why her thumbprint was upside down. Wait! I want to raise my bets. You said it yourself. You have friends hiding in the ceiling. It was a perfect plan. Everybody knew Cheryl was always catching her scarf on something. Nobody was surprised when it happened again. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.